Hi, welcome to the lecture 4 of Ultimate Python course. So in this lecture, we are going to see, okay, one more thing before we start, don't write the notes. The lecture slides as well as the lecture notes are both in the description. You can download them and you can use them. Don't write the notes. You cannot write notes for 100 hours of course content. This is going to be for 100 hours, okay? So we are going to see about syntax, indentation and comments in Python. So what is syntax? In simple words, I have to tell you, if you take English language, there is something called grammar. Grammar defines the syntax of the language, how you say the lines, how you write the lines, right? Similarly, a programming language will also have set of rules that is called syntax. And Python has the simplest syntax in the world. Out of all the programming languages, Python has the simplest syntax. If you are new to programming and if you are doing it for the first time, my suggestion would be do Python. You will easily learn programming and then you can use that knowledge to learn other languages also. Okay. So since Python is case sensitive, case sensitive means if you change the case of a variable or, in, or a, any name, if you change the case of a name, that will be considered as a different uh, object altogether. For example, in this one, if you see this, variable is written two times. Variable, variable is written two times. One time V is capital, one time V is small, okay? So that means that this is a different variable, this is a different variable, okay? So similarly, you have to write the statements one in one line. So in Cinta, you know, if you look at other programming language like C, C++, <coughs> C, C++, Java, if you look at those programming languages, after every line, at the end of every line, there is a semicolon. There generally is a semicolon, right? But here in Python, there will be no semicolons. I will just show you. Okay. So we will see what is case sensitivity first. In case of variables, if you in the variable name, if you write capital letter, achha, I didn't discuss about what a variable is, what a function is, what a class is. I will discuss all of them later. For now, understand that a variable can be written like this. I or you know, variable can be uh, some name or some age or some something marks. These are all variables. Okay. So here variable is having capital V and here variable is having small v both will be considered as different variables, right? So that is why when you are trying to print the values, you are getting 10 and 20 in the output. Both are considered as different variables. Now, in case of functions also, they are case sensitive, which means if you write my function with capital F and my function with small f, both are considered as different functions. Both are considered as different functions. <coughs> That is why you are seeing the output like this. Hello and then world. Okay. Even in cl classes also, uh, you don't know what a class is, what an object is. Forget about it. For now, I will do a detailed lecture about class, variable, function, everything. For now, the concept is just to focus on the syntax. Now, if you write my class with C capital and my class with C small letter, both will be considered as different classes. Okay. Now let us understand the indentation. Generally in a programming language, there will be blocks of statements. If you look at C, C++, Java, generally we write a block of statement using curly braces and we write the block of statements here. But in Python, there will not be curly braces. Then how do you know that all these statements belong to a block? We are going to use indentation, okay? So what do I mean by indentation is, I will just show you here. So if you look at this, this particular line is having a space. This print statement, if it is not visible, you can download these slides and see, see it, go through them. So if statement is there and then print is there, if this if condition is true, then this print will be printed, right? So now you can see that this is a block of code which is containing only one line and this block is the if block. Similarly, else also has a block of code. So how did I define that as a block? By writing four spaces. If you type 
tab generally you type tab then four spaces will come so indentation happens by giving four spaces so simply put indentation is nothing but giving spaces between the line and that line will become part of the block which is present there okay so anyway we will be writing a lot of programs all these concepts will be very clear gradually even if you don't understand anything now just don't give up okay now here if you see two statements are there in the block here if you see one statement is there in the block okay and uh, if you are going to give one or two spaces not four spaces that will be considered as wrong indentation you have to give four spaces for indentation okay and here also it is not giving four spaces that is why it is an error now what is the uses of indentation is one is you can read the code easily two is execute the code easily third one is organize the code into blocks easily and block definition will be simple okay so how, where is the block and all you can know by indentation and nesting can also be done a block within a block can also be done using indentation which means four spaces then four spaces is nesting if you keep on doing that then the nesting will happen okay so indentation can also be applied to loops and conditional statements so later we will see the loops there i will show you okay and then comments so why do we need comments generally when you write a program generally when you write a program it should be readable after some time see today if you are writing a program tomorrow if you reading it you will understand it but today if you have written a program and if you are reading it one month after that you will not understand what you have written in fact if some new person comes into your team he will not be able to understand anything later maintenance will be problem so that is why write comments write as many comments as possible in your program so that it is easier for anyone to understand by reading anyway uh, compiler will ignore the comments they are useless for compiler it will only compile the actual program okay so there are two ways you can give the uh, comments one is single line comment using a hash and the second one is multi line comment which starts with triple quotes which means either you can use three single quotes like this like this or you can use three double quotes three double quotes like this three double quotes like this i'll show you with example okay so what is use of comments it increases readability explaining the code to others is easy understanding the code easily after a long time is easy including resources which means if new new person joins it will be easy for him to understand and also reusing the existing code okay if you want to reuse the existing code comments will be helpful so single single line comments start with hash and multi line comments they start with uh either three single quotes or three double quotes and they also end with c single quotes or three double quotes right you can have multiple lines in the comments not a problem okay so we are working really hard to give you this course freely i and my team were working for 18 hours so my only request would be subscribe to the channel comment and like so that we our reach will be increased and we will do more such courses please encourage us thank you Hi everyone I hope you have liked our YouTube videos which are given for free most of our courses for free but there are some paid courses as well if you want to know about our paid courses please go to the website ravindrababuravla.in there you can see the list of all the paid courses available like gate cs gate da if you are interested in preparing for gate ds gate cs uh, da in order to join M iits then definitely our courses will help you even if your plan is not to do masters doing gate cs will help you will help you get into product based companies and doing gate da will help you become data scientists and ml engineers okay and coming to the study abroad so now if you are in a dilemma whether you want to uh, go abroad or whether you want to study gate uh, study prepare for gate and uh, write for the exam please do whatsapp us on the number shown in the website okay you can whatsapp us on this number and there is study abroad program as well you can go and learn more about it right 
so either you want to go for ms or uh, either you want to go for mtech or you want to join a software industry in a product based company we have all the courses required on our website and all these courses are amazing courses you will definitely love it if you are loving the youtube courses okay thank you